All right, next we're going to look at another example of factor by grouping. So uh, again, we have a four-term polynomial. I would love to factor out a common factor first. I fo forgot to mention that on the last example. Uh, if I could have factored out a common factor between these four, then I would have done that at the beginning, but only three of the terms have a variable, so I can't factor out a variable. And there isn't something that will go into 1, 4, 3, and 12 that's not named 1, and 1's a factor of everything. Same thing here, only three of these terms have a variable, and there is no common factor. So next, after I try to factor out my common factor, I'm going to factor by grouping. Uh, when I group the first two together, I look and see the common factor is x squared. That leaves me x plus 1. Here, like I talked about last time, we need to factor something out of this to make it look like this. Well, they're already identical to each other. So not only do I factor out a 1, but I want to say that's a positive 1. Well, when you divide both of these by positive 1, you still get x plus 1. So we have one more step to go, and it's to factor out the common factor. And the reason I know I have one more step is because I don't have a binomial times a binomial. So when I do this, I factor out my common factor of x plus 1 and group together my two coefficients. So as you can see, this is a binomial times a binomial. I can check this times this is this, this times this is this, this times this is this, and this times this will give me this. So it works out just fine. This is a linear uh, binomial, so I can't factor this anymore. This is quadratic, and it's not factorable. So just make sure you're checking that when we get into more complicated factoring.